Okay, so the first method we're going to go over here is just to do a solid dye color. So it's pretty easy. Um, but what we should talk about first is our crock pots. If you're going to do solid dye colors and you want to do more than one crock pot, Make sure that the brand name is the same, otherwise the heating levels are going to give you different colors. So if you just want to do it all in one crock pot, that's fine. Also, we have, as you can see, we've, we've cleaned our crock pot in between. You want to make sure that you don't have any residue from previous dyeing on there. Same with your measure, any of your measuring tools. So when I'm doing a solid color, I put in four quarts of water and it's just your regular quart not the fancy you could use you know whatever measurement you want just so the level is always the same if you're going to do multiple skates today we're going to do two skates at once so you're going to want to keep a close eye on this for the first hour and you're going to want to slowly stir it probably about every 10 minutes to make sure that your color is nice and even. And actually the yarn I'm going to use today is a fawn. I'm not using a white just because we have a lot of fawn alpacas and that color gets really boring and old fast so we want to make it a new color out of it. vinegar in it this time, I will put it in at the end if your color has not absorbed. In other words, if your water is not coming out clear. Now, because I'm over dyeing on fawn, I want to use quite a bit of dye, so I'm actually using two tablespoons. Nothing, nothing fancy, nothing perfection, I because we're, we're doing this the easy method, right? We don't want to be weighing and But I do keep notes in case I want to do it again. And that's really important. Now the next thing that's really important is that you stir this dye until there's no speckles or multiple colors that you see in there. Otherwise you will get a little spot on your yarn. And sometimes it happens even, even when you're being really careful. Not so much with these darker colors, but when you're doing like your mint greens or your... Hi, helper. This is Coin. He likes to help me. So today we're using sarsaparilla. Rilla. And it's a good deep color. It goes over top of, but if you look, it goes over top of Fawnwell. But if you look, can you see the spots that I'm talking about? We want them to be dissolve, disappear before we put our fiber in there. Some, some disappear instantly, others take a while, but you need to stir it, then you need to let it sit and see if there's any there. And once you don't see any, give it another stir and then we'll put our yarn in there. Because we're working with natural fiber, of course you got to be very careful with it, that, that you don't felt it, and also that you don't tangle it. That's why we tied it for dyeing. I want to kind of immerse it in the water, just gently let it fall in there. And then I find my plastic spoon, because I, I think I mentioned in, in my notes, wooden spoons, it sticks to the fiber. You see it grabbing there? So plastic, hard plastic spoon is really nice. I'm just going to press it down, get all those edges in. We're going to put it on the in the crock pot or put it on the burner and we're going to set it for three hours. But we're going to set our timer on our clock or on our phone or whatever kind of timer we're using for about 10 minutes. So that's when we're going to give that first stir to it just to make sure that it's even in there. And that's the start of your solid color. This course is actually made for our next step, which is going to be our tri-colors, but I thought I would show you how to do this as well, because we have time.